In order to become a professional engineer, there are three basic steps you must take, often called the three E's, education, experience, and exams. While each state licensing board has its own licensure laws, the general three-step process for licensure candidates is the same. The first step is education. Most states require candidates to have a bachelor's degree from a program that is EAC, ABET accredited. The second step is experience. Some states require four years of progressive and verifiable work experience in your field. Some jurisdictions may require that you work under direct supervision of a professional engineer or have PE work references. It is important that you keep track of work experiences and work references during this period so that you can meet experience requirements. The third step is exams. State boards require licensure candidates to pass two exams, the FE and the PE exam. These exams are a uniform measurement of knowledge that all states require. Candidates typically take the FE in their senior year of college or right after graduation. The FE exam tests the knowledge that you gain while in school. The more time passes after college, the harder it gets to remember. Next comes the PE exam. It's more practice oriented than the FE exam. It covers less academic knowledge and more practical knowledge you'll get through your work experience. Once you pass both exams and have the requisite experience, you are eligible to be a professional engineer.